No one likes pain. No one will want to experience it in their life because of the negative effect of it on them emotionally and physically. That's normal in our experience, but many don't understand the profit and purpose of pain. If they do, they won't doubt the love of God or think that God doesn't love them when they're going through times of pain. Maybe that's where you are right now. Are you going through a very hard and difficult time that it's like a pain in your neck? Are you experiencing certain pain in your body and you've been trusting God for healing because all the medical personnel haven't been able to heal the troubling situation in your body? Or are you experiencing financial trouble that has made you lose a lot in your family? It can be so frustrating to see yourself experiencing a lot of pain and you know that God can do something but it seems as if your faith in God just seems to bounce back. We don't usually understand that the purpose of prayer in our petition is not just about getting the answers that we want, but it's about God changing your personality. God is more interested in making you and changing you to be the best version of yourself so that you can fulfill the plan and destiny that he's assigned for you. There are a lot of things that God cannot do in your life unless you go through the refinery process. When God allows you to go through a certain season of pain and difficulty in your life, it is to the extent that you come out refined and strengthened through them. No season of pain is designed to keep you bound in it. You will walk through it and come out on the other side. The Word of God says in the book of Psalms chapter 23 that though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil because God is with you. When you're walking with God, the very first thing that you must watch out for is the perspective of God you have in your life because your perspective is what will color your experience in life. When you have a wrong perspective of God, when you're going through difficulties, you'll get offended because you will be held captive by the thought that the reason why you're going through what you're going through is that God's not happy with you or that he's just forsaken you. It is in those times of season and pain that the devil will throw suggestions that you've not been doing as much as you should, because if you were doing as much in your walk with God, you wouldn't be suffering the pains that you're going through. These are the kinds of suggestions that you'll be having when you're going through the seasons of pain, and if you don't know the character of God, you'll get frustrated and give up on God. Do not listen to the voices of the enemy that God is punishing you for what you've done, and that's why you're going through the pain and difficulties that you're experiencing now. That is the lie of the enemy, and when you're ignorant of his devices, you will live your life under his mercies, suffering and going through the troubles of life for no reason. This is why you should embrace the right perspective of God. A lot of people are comfortable with God being our refuge and our provider when things are tough. They always want to see God deliver them from pain and trouble quickly, but they never want God to go through the pain with them till they come out of the pain. Your pain will not last forever. It's just for a while and you'll see the end of it. There is a story in the Bible that speaks about how one can go through a tough time of pain but God can be merciful with a person and restore all that he's lost after many months. That is the story of Job. Job was a man that went through a lot of pain. It was set in place by God to train him and prune him from self-righteousness. When Satan came to God and began to negotiate with God for the life of Job, God allowed it so that the time of pain would open his eyes to see that God is the main source and that he is the sovereign over all. Suffering for nine months, he went through lots of pain that of a sudden all that he had just wiped off in a moment and all his riches, his children, his flocks, his lands were destroyed. He was in so much pain that it got to the point where he wanted to curse and he began to question God about his nature. This is how many people think when they're going through a lot of difficulties. They're tempted to give up on God and break their staying power because of the pain they've experienced in their journey of life. After months of pain and suffering, Job then realized that God was the source of all good things in his life, and he gave glory to God. He humbled himself and prayed to God for help, and God restored all that he lost with double. The Word of God calls it the patience of Job, 
And we see the end of the story of Job, which is that God was merciful and compassionate. There is a purpose for the pain that you're facing now, and it's to your advantage. It is part of God's timing to make you out what He wants you to be in the future. The reason why many can't stand it in certain levels of leadership and power in the world is that God cannot trust them enough to give them these kinds of authority, because He knows if He does, it can kill Him. So because of His love, He wouldn't allow them entry into these places of power and authority. If these people are not trained by God into those places of power, just imagine politics, where there's a lot of temptation to cheat and compromise. One who has not gone through the process and training of God will fall for covetousness and he'll deny his faith in God because of the amount of wealth that he has at that level. There are a lot of cases like this in the world, where people struggle to get rid of covetedness because of how much these evil desires for money have dragged them away from God. Those who are covetous will enjoy anything they can to make sure they're rich and in doing that, they reject God and His ways, just so they can pursue wealth. This is a very dangerous place to be, and that's why God disciplines us, so that He can purify our hearts and personalities to have the right character to handle the kind of blessings that He's planned to set before us. Because He doesn't train us and set in place this season of pain. Instead of the blessings of God empowering us, it'll only break you and lead you astray. How many times have we seen a lot of people get a huge contract in dollars and leave God's presence to the extent that they become so proud and high-minded that they have no regard for the things of God or even His house? When we do not allow pain to do its perfect work, we will crush our faith in God. This is the profit of pain in our lives. If you understand this, you will even be rejoicing when you see any trouble and difficulty coming your way at any time. The Word of God says that the one that God does not discipline is a bastard. And again, God tells us that this training is not joyful, but it's painful. The joy of it is that after going through that season of pain in your life, you'll see yourself yielding fruits in your life. You will begin to realize that there are certain habits and characteristics that God has pruned out of your life. God is your ever-present help in times of trouble. And that is why he's instructed you to rejoice when you're faced with any sort of pain and trouble. Because when you do, you allow it to do its perfect work in your life. Sometimes, those seasons of pain were allowed by God because he knows that where he's bringing you in the future, it'll take someone who has the character of courage and strict boldness to attend to the person that he'll bring your way to counsel. You have to take the pressures and enjoy the experience with the presence of God helping you through the difficulties. This is why God is called your helper. He will be your shepherd to help you go through life in the circumstances that'll come to you so that you can be better and stronger in the future.